Hey, what's going on guys? All right, check this. So this is the mount kits that I want to get um, for the car. Uh, if you look at these picks, look how much space is in that front. And they got a freaking uh, T6 turbo there. Um, this is their drag car. So we'll see how that works in the K. But um, what do you call it? You know, pretty sweet mounts. Um, really, you know, they're going to be solid mounts. Uh, but I'm just, you know, looking at that. And then I started looking at some other images that I had. So we saw that one where I'm just thinking of how much space this car is going to have. So here goes one that they had. Um, I mean, just look at all that space in the front. Um, and then on the side, because I've seen this car in person and it had like a four inch, uh, what do you call it, exhaust coming along the side of the frame rail. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So I'm about to, you know, scoop that up. I'm trying to see. There was this other picture. Oh, yeah. Watch this one. Yeah, this is another VQ. Uh, it looks like that's in a 95. Oh, it's a YouTube video. Hmm, let's see. Oh, and then that was the other one. I'll go back to it. Let's just watch this. We're watching a video within a video. Oh, it's a drift car. Oh, nice. Yeah. First startup. No. All right, whatever. But anyways, you see how that thing sits. Pretty, pretty cool. But let's see. I wanted to show you guys one last thing. It was um, it was on Mazwork's car. Let's see. They had that one. Oh, you know what? It was this one here. So let's see. We'll view the image. Now, tell me what you guys see, cause I'm over here like kind of getting all happy I don't know if they've done an adapter or what oh man come on what's there do 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 so if you can kind of see that um throttle body it's a possibility that's a Q um it looks like a Q from here you can actually see right there, oh, I forgot this touch screen computer, but right there, that's like a, fl um, oh, a, little, a little lower. Many anyways, right there, that is the throttle body um, butterfly uh, plate. So this isn't a fly-by-wire, you know, um, throttle. It looks like it's possibly the Q. Um, if it is, I am like happy. Well, I don't know if they use an adapter plate or, well, I mean, look what they did. They did do a custom um, setup there. And I could do that, too. Maybe I could, you know, run a, a, a longer pipe and, I don't know. That's just a setup. But, yeah, never mind about that. So, I got to, I want to see what's up. I know they also make a Connects um, adapter. But I'm just still looking. Look at all that room up in front. So we'll see how that works because that's how I kind of want to have the turbo sitting and have, um, you know, the exhaust come here and then have one here meet up and psh. but then I forgot when I explained on the other video about getting some headers and, you know, swapping them. That might be proved kind of difficult because the, um, what is it? Oh, Lord. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, for the pulleys that are going to be on the car, like those might, you know, be a hindrance, you know. But I don't know until I get it in. But I want to order up these adapters, you know, I'm going to order these tonight. And then that was the other thing, too. One guy went, because if you read this, it says that this doesn't come with the tranny mount. Uh, I read one guy doing the swap, he used an automatic KA mount. I have one, that's what I use with the Z32. And then, um, because then there's another one. I forget who it is. It's some motorsports. They sell the mounts with the tranny, um, a, you know, mount as well. And But that one's like 600 But I kind of don't like. Um, let me see. Uh, swap. I'm kind of scared with the thing. Here's McKinney Motorsports. Oh man, it's not that bad. Never mind. No, look at that. But then you see, <clears throat> these would be a little stiff. I mean, it does have some polyurethane bushing down there, it looks like. 
Um, but then you have, you know, this. But when I'm, you know, basically reading, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put it in. But, yeah, this one's 6.30. But, I don't know. It's, it's, it's decisions that I got to make. So if anyone's out there that has a Mazworks kit and use an automatic cross member from a KA, um, you know, tranny, tranny break, um, fucking bracket, let me know. Uh, if not, you know, I don't know. But even so, if I get that TIG, I could do this. At least, you know, I don't want to have to do the measurements and, and whatnot with um, the motor. At least if I get the... the Maz works, then I can work on making my training mount if it doesn't, you know, fit. You know, I want to pick up that welder. It's going to be pretty sweet. But, all right, guys. Like, all right. I just did a quick thing, and then I found this one. So now, um, what do you call it? This is uh, like a little no-name, you know, kind of kit. The machined aluminum looks nice um, there, and then here it goes. Basically, it's like a McKinney Sports kit, but it comes with the shifter bracket that you need to get. Um, it's you know like a Asian knockoff. Uh, they probably bought the kit and did it. Same thing with Godspeed. Um, but you see, this is where where I tend to you know lean towards these products. Um, you know, people are like, oh, you know, this and that. You get what you pay for. Uh, now, this is just metal. I know some of you guys might, you know, you know, counter with it or whatnot. But, I mean, 380 for everything. Because then this thing, um, this, uh, what do you call it, shifter kit that I had found, what people were using was $200. So, I mean, I'm going to get it because I plan on getting that, that welder, like I said. Um, so if anything were to happen to any of those, I could just reinforce it. Um, you know, the only thing that I kind of see that could possibly be weak is here on this kit. Um, this all looks, you know, it's welded on both sides. Um, here, here, here. Maybe, you know, there's probably a weld. I don't know if you guys, oh yeah, let's see if you guys can really see. Yeah, so you see, it's, like I said, metal. They're selling it. Um... Let's say if it, it doesn't line up, you know, correctly, uh, it might be off a little or anything in nature of that. I don't think it's going to be anything big. I'm willing to, you know, take a chance. But like I said, even here, if those this were to break, I'd just triangulate it. You know, run a triangle from there to there, weld and weld there to strengthen it if I were to have any issues. Um, but yeah, this is this is a, a good breakthrough because less money going out the pocket and like i said it's just metal now if it was pistons or you know turbo um injectors nah you know kind of stay away from that you need the, the the quality backed up but basically this kit probably would be better than me um going with uh you know building it myself and then maybe with this kit too this looks kind of shorter than the McKinney it might be the same um, distance but let's say if this is lower then I, I shouldn't have uh, less hood clearance issues but I don't know we'll see I'm gonna probably uh, scoop this up and then we'll do a review on that all right